Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, a free site, bettingangle.us, a free site. Let's talk NFL football, but first remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. The picks I like this week are as follows. I'm going to tell you the lines I got. These bets were made as the week progressed. I like the under 38 and a half points in the Pittsburgh Steeler Cincinnati Bengal game. Again, I like the under 38 and a half points. Understand these two are divisional rivals. According to Football Outsiders, an excellent site, the Pittsburgh Steelers have the 28th ranked offensive DVOA, and the Cincinnati Bengals have the 29th ranked offensive DVOA. DVOA is a fancy mathematical formula that measures the offense against the average offense. Let me also say too that Pittsburgh has some injuries that I don't think are going to clear themselves up by game time, including the fact that Smith Schuster, their wide receiver, very important part of their offense, is in concussion protocol. You also have James Conner, the running back, banged up. He missed Wednesday practice. And, of course, you have the overhang of this Mason Rudolph, Miles Garrett incident hanging over the team. I like the under 38 and a half in the Pittsburgh Steeler cincinnati Bengal game. In the Cowboy-Patriot game, I'm not going to play around with a six and a half point point spread. I like the Patriots on a money line at minus 280. Right? Understand, the Patriots this year have not lost at home. Let's also put the Patriots season in perspective. They've lost once, folks. That was on the road against the Baltimore Ravens. Understand, too, that quarterbacks who see Bill Belichick's defense for the first time are usually baffled. Well, Dak Prescott has never faced the Patriots. Advantage, Bill Belichick. Also, understand that New England's defense has not given up more than 200 passing yards in a game since week four. In other words, this defense is still an elite defense. I know the Cowboys on paper in terms of yards per play minus yards per play allowed uh, looks spectacular. There's no question about that. But the Cowboys this year have not been beating successful teams. I like the Patriots here on the money line at a minus 280. Finally, I like the Baltimore Ravens on the road laying three points, minus three, against the Los Angeles Rams. You know, this Baltimore pass defense has not allowed more than 150 passing yards in either of the last two games. You know, Baltimore has run for more than 200 yards in two of the last three games. The defense last week held Houston to only 16 first downs. Understand, if you hold the other team to less than 20, your defense has played well. Here, Deshaun Watson, in my opinion, one of the league's best quarterbacks, and his Houston offense were held to 16 first downs. That tells me that the Ravens are playing great defense right now. Understand, too, the Rams just played a very physical game, very physical game, against the Bears. Now, people like Greg Cosell have looked at film. They feel that something's wrong with Todd Gurley. Understand, Gurley did well against the Bears. But people feel that Gurley has changed his running style because of injury. Now he's a straight-line runner. He's not an elusive runner who makes you miss, as he used to be when he got the big contract. Gurley had over 20 carries against the Bears. I think it's doubtful that they can expect the same performance from Todd Gurley one week later, right, in a back-to-back -back game. With Gurley a little bit diminished, 
I believe that the Ram offense is going to play right into the strength of that Baltimore Raven defense. Understand, again, the Ravens have not allowed more than 150 passing yards in either of the last two games. Let's face it, too, even when they throw the ball, Brandon Cooks has had concussion problems for much of the year. Right? I personally believe that you can clear concussion protocol and still not be 100%. Finally, the Rams had under 300 yards in total offense last week. Don't be fooled by the score in the beer game. Right? The Rams offensively really weren't that good. They struggled in that game. I think you're catching the Rams at the right time here. I think the Ravens are playing excellent ball right now. I like the Ravens laying three over the Rams in Los Angeles. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. If there's a play you want to highlight here online for the gamblers, um, if there is information you feel is relevant to games I've discussed and games I haven't discussed that you feel could give the viewers here an edge on the casino, then I hope you leave that information in the comment section of this video. Thanks for stopping by.